This is just a quick video looking at H.264 hardware acceleration in media encoder and the things that use it, so like uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects. Um, because we get the question sometimes when we're doing our benchmarking, why do we not use hardware acceleration when we're exporting to H.264, um, even on the CPUs that support it? Um, and so a little bit of a background. In order to enable hardware acceleration, you have to have, to have a CPU that supports quick sync, and you have to have onboard graphics enabled. Um, so in our case, this is, let's see, this is an 8700K CPU we have in here, and we have onboard graphics enabled, and we have the 1080 Ti. Um, so normally we would actually have onboard graphics disabled because it's a lot cleaner, there's less risk of software getting confused. It, you, it is more buggy to have both of these enabled, but this is the only way that you can get uh, hardware acceleration in media encoder. Uh, so in this case, we've got it enabled, and we want to look at the quality uh, between hardware acceleration and software only, and if there's any other weird stuff, because there definitely is. So what we did is we just took a red clip, it's a red uh, 4K clip, and we exported it with two presets. So we did the high quality 2160p 4K preset. Um, you'll notice it has the target of 80 megabit per second for the bit rate. And then we have the same exact thing, we just disabled uh, hardware acceleration, so software only, same target bit rate, so 80 megabit per second. And then we also did with the match source high bit rate, so it has a target of 10 megabit per second. And again, the only difference is we swap from hardware accelerated to software only. Um, and what's interesting, let's see if I can find the right one here. Uh, so if you were ex exporting to uh, the uh, high quality 2160p, so that's these two files here, notice the file size is way different. The software only is 185 meg, which is about what you would expect with the 80 megabit per second bit rate on a, this is an 80, 18 second clip, uh, but it's only 35 megabit or megabytes on the uh, hardware accelerated one. So already there's something weird, like that's not 80 megabit bit rate. Um, interesting though, the uh, match source is almost identical in file size. Slightly different, but that makes sense because you're doing slightly different encoding. Um, in terms of performance, so basically with the high quality preset, we got 58 seconds, so just about a minute with software only, and it took half as long with hardware acceleration on. So twice the performance uh, when we have hardware acceleration on. But again, the file sizes are really weird, like way, 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 way smaller with hardware acceleration on, so something's funky. Um, with the high bitrate preset, we had identical time and identical file size within a you know, tiny little bit. So um, the next thing we wanted to look at then is, well, what about quality? So we brought them into Premiere, and we've got a couple of, let me make this bigger, a couple of timelines. The first one is just with the high quality uh, 2160p preset. And we've got, the only thing we've done is we've got a Lumetri color way overblowing it a little bit, but uh, it's gonna be hard to see this um, on YouTube, so we wanted to kind of overdo it. So um, this is the software only, so this is what you would normally get, and then switching over to hardware accelerated. Now, you probably can't see any difference. Honestly, I can't even really see any difference, but if we zoom in quite a bit, so we can really see the details in this. Let me get over to this guy in a boat. So again, this is the default software only. So this was the larger file size. And if we switch to hardware acceleration, it's much lower quality. You lose all of the details in a shirt here. So with software only again, and you lose a lot of details even in the boats and the water. So that's with uh, hardware acceleration and software only. So really big difference in quality here, but that kind of makes sense. Like the file sizes are drastically different. So the bit rate is much higher on the software only. Um, so then we also did the exact same thing with the uh, match source high bit rate. Let me again get over to this guy on a boat. Okay, whoops. So this is uh, again, software only. And if we switch to hardware accelerated, it's quite a bit worse. Um, again, details in the shirt really get lost. Um, and actually this color down here in this boat, uh, it's, it's like got a red color in there that you can see with the software only, but as soon as you switch over to hardware accelerated, it just looks brown and black. So you lose that detail. And if I even turn off Lumetri color, again, it's gonna be really dark here, but uh, just for the people who kind of want to see the difference there, it's again, much worse quality with the hardware acceleration on versus off. 
So yeah, um, some of the presets do funky things with hardware acceleration. I mean, the fact that we had you know, much smaller file sizes with the high quality preset tells us that it's not actually following the target bitrate whatsoever. Um, but even when we had it at, on the uh, match source and everything looks to be the same, you know, from a file size standpoint and all that, the quality is much worse with hardware acceleration on.